Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. This is Nagato's Revenge, and um, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel. I recently just started this uh, three days ago, and basically, I've been trying to get like a lot of uh, content out, as you've seen. I think I put out almost seven videos. So, for even with the little uh, eleven subscribers I have right now, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, I'm very humble about that. Uh, but like uh. Let's just get right into straight in to the tutorial I'm giving y'all today. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take uh, your old PlayStation Portable save files or get a save file from any game, from any PSP game offline, and basically how to implement that into the adrenaline. Um, most people, I would assume, would rather be playing on their Vitas with all like the native resolution apps uh, for, and patches and just other patches for PSP and you know playing on the Vita in my opinion is much better than playing on an OPSP since there's you know a multitude of things you could do other than you know on a PSP not knocking off the PSP saying it wasn't you know good in during this time because PSP is still one of my uh, favorite handhelds but like that being said uh, as I always state in my videos some prerequisites um the game we're going to be uh, testing today is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep for this process. Uh, but it works on any game. Um, basically, you need to find a way to get a save data, a PSP save data file. Um, what I did was just literally Googled um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep uh, PSP save data. Um, make sure you get the one that's for your uh, region of the game. So since I'm in the United States, I have the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep uh, version of the game, of course. Um, things you will need is either a PlayStation Vita or a PlayStation TV that's uh, either running 3.60 to 3.68. Uh, rather, if you're using Hankaku, HN Core, or um, Hankaku Enzo. Uh, another thing you will need either your USB or FTP client uh, of your choice. I use personally FileZilla. That's the one I've been using for years now. On Basically, uh, you need the latest version of Vita Shell, or you can have the latest version of Adrenaline. I know right now, this is my uh, older Vita, and basically, I have two Vitas, and I have one PSTV. This one, I just was setting SD to Vita on it not too long ago, and then um, I'm basically trying to set up, like, you know, the UCDC thing so I could basically stream. So, this is why my Vita looks kind of different from my regular one that I primarily use however um let's get started just with the uh, tutorial real quick so first things first um once you have all the prerequisites what you want to go to is a uh, Vita show and then from Vita show you want to focus on uh, UX zero now if you don't already have adrenaline installed either you could FTP uh, adrenaline over or you basically could just, if you already had it installed, you could skip that step. Um, adrenaline, you just copy it over either via FTP, and I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go switch over back to my display capture real quick for y'all. Okay, so files will should pop up soon. Let me get OBS off the screen. So you just basically type in your uh, IP address and always the port for Vita is 1337. So once you basically have uh, adrenaline, uh, you can dump it wherever. I just dump it in UX0. I probably already have adrenaline here. So all you would have to do is, yeah, I basically already have adrenaline. But from there, uh, I think I have it on my PC too, so I can show you guys. So. Oh, yeah, here's the latest version of Adrenaline. So if I were to just recopy this over, you'll just drag and drop here. And then from there, FileZilla will show you uh, the thing is transferring. Um, it's asking me if I want to overwrite since I already had this. I'm just going to click cancel due to the fact um, I don't want to waste any time. So once you transfer that over from UX0 or UX zero to a VPK folder or basically anywhere in UX0, it doesn't have to be in the VPK folder. Um, most people just keep all their VPKs in one folder since it's nice and neat. Since I test a lot of stuff on this Vita, um, my uh, UX0, and since it's a uh, SD card, I basically just dump anything on it because I'm usually doing stuff on the fly. But with that being said, I'm going to switch back over to uh, OBS real quick so we can get back to the Vita screen. 
All right, so once you have Adrenaline already uh, installed by basically just reinstalling uh, the VPK like any other one, now what you want to do is go back out of Vita Shell and then hold on, yeah, let me back out real quick. Yeah, so once you back out of Vita Shell, guys. Um, we basically want to run adrenaline for the very first time just to get it to boot up certain folders or you could manually make the folders yourself I just like to uh, run adrenaline once and then so it uh, basically uh, gets the, all the folders in basically for uh, into UX0 so as you see here I'm gonna have some games so I have Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and I have um, NBA 2K10 but once you uh, have all that stuff done now you just want to go back to your main menu I accidentally just screenshot it okay exit PlayStation Amy. okay once you exit out of um, adrenaline now where you want to go to is back in the Vita show this is just one of the precautions I usually do just to make sure you know everything is there so once you uh, ran adrenaline you want to now go to PSP emu um, if you should have a folder in the PSP slot that says save data in all caps if you don't have that go ahead and make that folder so the folder that I have highlighted go ahead and create a new folder and the way you do that is pressing triangle press new new folder and then just have save data um, as you see you can see all the save data to all the games that I have played on here. So it tells you the content ID for the games. I'm not too sure which one is which uh, because I don't recognize some of the title IDs as much. They're probably Kingdom Hearts or NBA 2K or probably Gran Turismo. But with that, that's where we're going to basically transfer our save data. So let's say you got all that done. You basically have adrenaline installed. You ran it once. Um, you basically got Vita Shell and you made sure you have the save data a uh, folder in your PSE emu onto your UARC zero, or zero. Now we could come back to the PC and now I can show y'all guys how to um, get a save data real quick for any type of game. So what I did was something was I just literally typed in Google uh, basically Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep PSP saves uh, I clicked the first link um, I know game faculties will probably have a lot of uh, game saves for the PSP and probably many other sites all you have to do is basically just click on any save file that you want um, make sure it's the same region see the uh, uh, most sites I know the site's pretty good with naming the save region so if you got the Japanese version to a certain game in this case like I said before I had the North American version of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep I just want to go ahead and save that file so once you save that file uh, your save data file and that's basically the easiest method because I know maybe some people don't really have uh, PSPs at the moment or if they do, uh, God forbid, they don't want to go back on it just to pull an old save data file. So most people will probably go with this method of just finding a random save file online. Uh, once you basically find uh, where your save file is, which I got to basically find mine. I'm probably just going to re-download it just because. So, yeah. So once you basically find your save file, you want to unzip the file and then just either FTP it over. And then if not... USB it over whatever it got or y'all guys is your preference. So yeah, here's the PSP. Oh, I already had it on my desktop. There we go. Oops, I it got blocked by my wallpaper. But yeah, all you gotta do is just extract here to whatever save it is, and then you're basically just gonna dump that save in that that same directory. So right here, these are all your saves for uh basically your game I know Kingdom Hearts had a couple of save files your game may just have one but now what you want to do is reopen back up FileZilla if you haven't closed it out and basically you want to go to your Vita go ahead and hit select and start and to run that FTP server if you're doing it that method so right here I'm gonna go back out and we're gonna go to a folder called PS emu 
or PSP email right here. You want to go to PSP and then save data. Or you see all that stuff at right now. That's basically your save data for the game. What you want to do now is drag and drop. And then basically that's all your save data. Just say if you want to overwrite, make sure you if you do care about save data, you back it up before. Um since I'm just testing this and I really don't care what gets overwritten, just press OK. And then from there, uh just watch the transfer over. Um once that's done, you want to go ahead and over back to your PlayStation Vita. So let me go ahead and flip back real quick. Okay, cool. So once you got that done, you want to go ahead and back out and you want to go run adrenaline again. So once you basically transferred over your save data file, you will basically want to run your game that uh, of your choice. And then basically it will show the uh, save data file. So basically this one had everything uh, completed for Kingdom Hearts. And that's, uh, you know, it booting up. I currently don't have the audio for or the 3.5 audio jack, so you won't hear my Vita straight up. You're probably hearing it just straight up to the mic. So I'll show you all right now real quick. Uh, the save file should be in here in this version. I know I have two copies of Birth by Sleep that y'all probably saw from me going through the games on the NBA 2K. One is a pre-production or beta version of the game. But one is the retail version. So I'm wondering. Yeah. So right here, as you see, all of my save files are modded. And basically, this is just a save I found. And you can just tell from the date that, you know, this is all in real time. So, for example, I'm just going to click on this save file. And it does work. But there, yeah, basically, the guys, that's a quick method on how to transfer save data files over. So, and I, if you could probably see here, my character is all leveled out to 99, and clearly I haven't um played this, and I have everything unlocked, and my money's up to 99 too. Um, and there's many games you can do this for. It's just not for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. You can do this for any PlayStation Portable game using Adrenaline. Um, like that, with that being said, I'm signing out. My name's Nagato, and thank you guys for watching.